And our daughter, Stephanie. Jessica. Whatever. You should really talk to her, you know? No. It's just a job. These are scenes from the movie Shiva Baby, the debut feature film from Canadian writer and director Emma Seligman. Quite the hit when it premiered virtually at the Toronto International Film Festival last year, and it's coming back to TIFF's online platform for Canadians to stream. Now, Eli's with us this morning. I remember when Eli first told us about this movie, and he liked it a whole lot. Anybody who didn't see it at, uh, at that time, Eli, good morning. Tell us morning. what it's all about. Yeah, I liked it a lot. I watched it again this week. I continue to like this film, and I'm so glad that people can start clicking and watching it at their own uh, couches, at their own homes. What I liked about this, I mean, the predicament for this Heather is so delicious. So the beginning of the film, we see Danielle with her sugar daddy, Max. Now, they've kind of reached an agreement. There's a payment for services. He thinks Danielle is studying law, but the phone rings. She's late for an appointment. As you can see, this is the appointment that her mother was bugging and dragging her to. She's there with her parents to pay her respects. They're sitting Shiva, which is a Jewish custom of going to the home of a family who's lost someone. And this particular Shiva takes place right after the funeral. So you stand, you kibitz, you pray, you eat some locks on a bagel. The Jewish thing, it's a family thing, except who shows up at the Shiva? There he is in the beard, Max, the sugar daddy himself. Oh, and he's not alone. Let's take a look. Max worked for your father years ago. Really? Just try to behave yourself today. Why do you keep looking over there? Hi, I'm Kim Beckett. I don't think she's pretty. Malibu Barbie is not pretty. I mean, she's just like basic. You are such a good kid. And so there she is. The rest of the film is her trapped in this predicament. Danielle dodging her parents, her client, Maya, her ex-girlfriend, all while trying to remember who they're supposed to be mourning and grieving, and not to mention trying to figure out just what she's doing with her life. Okay. This is all most intriguing as a scenario. Does it work as a movie, Eli? It does. And you know what's so interesting is this actually started as a seven minute short. And then what Sel Seligman did is she broadened it out into her first feature film. It was inspired by her experience while she was studying at NYU. And she's Jewish. She had friends who actually had their own sugar daddy. She says in interviews, she actually tried it briefly herself. But there's something so perfect about this situation. The hell of being trapped there with your parents Everybody asking, how are you? Who are you seeing? What are you doing? What are you studying? I mean, I don't think you need to be Jewish to relate to that. Just kind of the low level combat of your parents' expectations. And in the middle of it all is Danielle, who doesn't really know what she wants yet. She can barely remember who they're supposed to be grieving over. And then Max, the sugar daddy, shows up. But then even more, as you saw, I'm going to show you a longer clip now. There's that blonde woman who is Max's wife and you can see she's she's certainly paying some attention let's take another look why do you keep looking over there where at the like skinny blonde woman i'm not looking at her okay she's she's very pretty but she's too old for you <laughs> i don't think she's pretty malibu barbie is not pretty i mean she's just like Basic, you know, like she's, she's just like generic looking. Like, so there you go. That's actually Molly Gordon as Maya, who plays the uh, woman, uh, an ex-girlfriend of Danielle's. You might recognize her from the movie Booksmart. And she and Rachel Sanot, who plays uh, Danielle, they have this wonderful kind of passive-aggressive chemistry that you know they have a history together. Now, I will say, stretching this from a short into a feature, at times you do feel that stretching. It does feel a little contrived to kind of keep all the plates spinning and, you you know, keep giving Danielle things to do and problems to solve while she's stuck at this shiva with her parents. But I think it's Danielle's own story and that can particular, you know, just terror of being stuck there in this situation. Everyone asking what you're doing with your life, but you don't even know the answer yourself that makes this ring so true. And the thing that struck me, Heather, the first time I saw it and watching it again 
is Emma, the director and writer's voice. Her voice is so clear and so true. For her first feature, it is clear, confident, and funny. I cannot wait to see what she's going to do next time. Three and a half stars out of five. Oh, three and a half. I was waiting. It sounded like you liked it. Eli, thank you. Great to see you. And thanks for this Friday. Okay. I already have a plan and a path, so... So you just study and uh, don't eat and go out with your beautiful friends, is that...